Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be doing a review on the Cutting Weight V3 Sauna Suit Jacket. So check it out. Hey guys, Carlo here, and today I'm doing a review on the Cutting Weight V3 Long Sleeve Sauna Suit Jacket. This retails for $74.99. It only comes in black. It is considered a unisex jacket. You can get it as small as extra small all the way to 6XL. So there's definitely a wide uh, of range of sizes to choose from. Um, I got mine in small. That way it's a little bit more snug fitting uh, when I use it during my training. It's designed here in the United States but it is manufactured in Taiwan. The material that it's comprised of is 65% neoprene and about 35% uh, nylon. So for those of you that are familiar with wetsuits, if you live on the coast nearby a beach, you go surfing, then it's pretty much a very similar style of material with the neoprene um, and it is 1.5 millimeters thick. Um, for those of you that are wondering how you actually wash the sauna suit jacket, I actually recommend hand washing it and then letting it hang dry. So you definitely don't want to put this into a machine, uh, machine wash and then throw it into your dryer because you can um, do damage to the neoprene material and it ends up shrinking and it kind of loses its shape. So definitely recommend just hand washing it, put it in your sink, wash it with some mild soap <clears throat> and then put on a hanger and let it dry out. And that's the best way I recommend doing it and just follow along with the instructions that they give to you. I've had this jacket for a couple of months now and I, because it's summertime in Arizona, um, I primarily use it like early in the morning if I'm gonna go do road work. Or if I go to the gym and I, I wanna use a treadmill or the stair climber, um, I'll put this on as well and end up using this jacket if I really wanna get uh, a good sweat on. Um, this is a long sleeve jacket. It's a little bit heavier than the other sauna suit jackets that are that thinner nylon polyester material that you see like the hot suit or even the box raw haggler. Um, so I feel like this jacket has held up very well. I mean, as far as like stitching and the material goes, I haven't had any issues with the tearing. It's held up really well. Um, the only downside I would say with this jacket <clears throat> is that I personally feel that it's a little un uncomfortable when, but I don't like the way it feels against my skin, the neoprene. So I typically wear a shirt on the inside before I put this jacket on. Um, you don't have to, it's completely up to you on whether or not you want to wear a, a, a shirt under on the inside of the jacket. Just know that whatever you're wearing underneath the sauna jacket is going to be soaked, completely soaked with sweat, which is the whole point of this jacket. But you can wear the jacket without <clears throat> a shirt underneath. It's intended, it's designed that way as well. I just personally don't like the way uh, just the, the liner and just, you know, the stitching feels against my skin. It's kind of irritating. Um, another thing you'll notice with this jacket, this, the, the neoprene, has kind of a strong chemical smell too. Um, I have the short sleeve version of this jacket and, <clears throat> and I've washed it a couple times and it still kind of has that strong smell. So it's gonna take some time to get rid of that smell from both just breaking it in, you sweating in it, and then hand washing it. Um, that's what really is what's gonna get rid of that, that strong chemical smell. Um, but this is a really comfortable. I got mine in small. I'm five foot eight. Right now I'm about 150 pounds. Uh, and it fits me snug, but it's not like overly tight to where I don't feel like I have good flexibility. I can't, I don't feel like I can't like move my arms. So I have a full range of motion when it comes to my arms. You can see that it also has a collared neck neckline. Um, it's full metal zippers. So you have your full frontal zipper, which is a big plus. Um, some of the other sauna jackets are pullovers. So they're not, you would actually have to, you have to kind of like pull it up and you know how how big of a pain of a pain in the ass that is when you you get done sweating and you try to pull the pullover style sauna jackets it's just there it's like stuck to your skin like glue and it becomes kind of a pain so the nice thing about this is that you can completely unzip it and just pull it off your body so you have a full zip at the very top you also have this little neoprene flap and essentially the zipper sits on the inside um, i did a review on the chimera uh, sauna jacket well, my biggest gripe with that one was that it didn't have a flap like this so what would happen is 
I would feel the metal, um, the metal uh, uh, zipper underneath my chin. And when I would run, this, the, 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 the zipper would I, I, like kind of flap up and hit me in the chin. So that pre basically prevent that, prevents that from happening. You see the cutting weight logo right here on the neck. You do have the elastic sleeves at the end for the cuff, so it's all cuffed in. The very bottom of the jacket does not have that really tight elastic that you see. Again, I'd like to compare it to the hot suit or even the, the box row, where it basically contains all the sweat. So I know a lot of you guys have seen all the, you know, social media, Instagram, TikTok, uh, whatever it may be, YouTube, where you'll see, you know, the boxers or whoever's training in that box raw sauna suit or even the hot suit, and then they'll flip the bottom out and all that water will just gush out from them training. You don't really get that with this particular jacket, not that it really matters, but you don't get that because it is, it's not really tight, tightly cuffed around your waist at the bottom. So when you're training, you're going to get a lot of sweating going on, but it's not going to get stuck on the inside of the jacket. Uh, like you would with um, like the hot suit and the box raw. It, it soaks the sweat a little bit more. It doesn't repel it as well as those other materials. This one soaks it up. Um, you will get some sweat that does come out of the sleeve. So, you, it, you know, obviously you'll be sweating a lot. So if you put your arms down, you will notice, you know, if you're running a couple miles that you'll start to notice sweat just drain out of the sleeve. And, and so you'll get that, but you won't get that effect uh, coming out of the bottom of the waist of the jacket. You also do have um, two zippered pockets right here on the front of the jacket. So you can put your wallet, your keys, uh, you know, your whatever you, whatever you may need to put in there, your headphones, and it completely zips up so you don't have to worry about losing it. So the zippers are, are really nice, nice metal zippers. They move nice and smoothly, and you're able to keep everything in there if you need to. Um, another drawback with this jacket is um, there's really, no reflective features on this um, and this right here does not reflect so my biggest gripe with some of these sauna jackets is a lot of people that use these are using them for road work um, early in the morning and it's it's this jacket is black so it blends right in with the the darkness and it doesn't have any kind of reflective features it would have been nice to have something on the upper sleeves or on the wrist because you know when you're running you usually your arms are usually swinging and if a car is behind you or in front of you and the headlights hit your body, they'll see the movement of the reflection or the reflective material on the jacket. So it would have been nice to have some kind of reflective material on the shoulder, uh, definitely on the arms, on the front and the back, so that when people are driving, they can see you. If you're doing road work, you may, maybe you're gonna run across the street and it's a really wide uh, street and you're running across, maybe you're jaywalking, I don't know. You wanna have something that's reflective, that way people can see you if it's dark outside. So that, that would be my biggest thing uh, with that. But overall, I'm really satisfied with this. You definitely get a good sweat. Um, I, I feel like for me personally, it's, it's a, I wouldn't say uncomfortable because that would be, uh, you know, that's like being a little bit too critical on a piece of, like on a jacket that just is basically just the, the seams that you're feeling against your skin. But me personally, I'd rather just wear a shirt underneath it. You may not mind it at all. Um, you get a good sweat. You really get that sweat pouring out. Um, it's pretty much comparable to the Boxra Hagler. I mean, there's, there's not really any way for me to gauge the amount of sweat I sweated out, but I, I sweat a ton with this on as well. So it's not like I have a sweat gauge that I can put and say, okay, I sweat three cups of sweat compared to the other jacket. Um, but I do feel like this works very well and it starts working pretty quickly. Right when you start running, you give yourself maybe 50 yards and you can start to really feel your pores open up on your skin um, and ready to go. So um, I feel like this would be a really good jacket, especially in the winter time. Um, it keeps you a little warmer than the hot suit, if that makes any sense. I know it's kind of weird to say that a jacket that's supposed to make you sweat keeps you warmer, but just the natural material, the thickness of this neoprene just feels more like a warmer style jacket. So if you're gonna go say running on a, uh, some, on a morning in December, it's cold out today, maybe it's 30, 40 degrees. Um, this would may actually be good as kind of like double up as a jacket as well, because it kind of insulates your body because of the neoprene outside of it making you sweat more. So overall satisfied with this, really good durability, it's held up really nicely. Um, as long as you wash it, I haven't had any issues with odors um, or it's smelling really bad. I wash it, I hang dry it, I maintain my equipment really well. Uh, but overall, I'm, I'm really satisfied with this. I'm planning on getting the pants 
and, and hopefully I'll do a review of that uh, hopefully soon. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find this cutting weight V3 sauna suit jacket. And I'll see you guys later. Take care.